on Friday, November 16, 2012, controversial Nollywood actress, Achi Wuji secretly married an oil and gas big boy, Juwen Lao in Lagos. The union, as exclusively reported back then by Nigeria Films.com, was consummated at the Ikoi Registry and a reception followed at Oriental Hotel where the selected guests were spoiled with exotic foods and drinks. A year after the marriage, the couple had their first child together, son. But unfortunately, moments later, there were reports that the marriage was heading towards Olamo Rock, though both of them then denied that there was any trouble in their marriage. Back then, it was alleged that Achiwuji's affair with a top handsome banker in Nigeria was getting her husband annoyed. Reports even stated that Jiwen got hold of some Enda pictures of his wife, which was reportedly sent by Ach to the said bank executive, who is said to undergo a quick factory reset whenever he sets his lustful eyes on anything in skirt. However, after their initial denials, Achiwuji and her husband confirmed their marriage crash not too long ago. It was the man that pulled the first string last week, when reportedly released a statement confirming his split from his wife. This should serve as the official statement confirming the end to the marriage formalized on Friday, November 16, 2012 between the CEO of ABD Fuels PLC. Mr. Juwen Rezaik Lal and actress Achi Wuji, his publicist, status and living media said in a statement released last week. Confirming the news again on Sunday, Achi Wuji went on Twitter to say, To all my haters go chop SHT. Now I can have my life back ha. Huh? Her post has been interpreted in many ways one, of which is if Uch is planning to return to what allegedly broke her young marriage. Those of the above school of thoughts asked, if Uch means going back to enjoy the food, what she had earlier allegedly hidden to eat while she was still married. But some of her die-hard fans have hailed her for putting behind her the failed marriage, and have urged her not to settle for the less again. Additional report by Ozara Minhee James.